the big breaking news today after deliberations for weeks opposition parties today took the unprecedented first step towards chief justice of india deepak mishra's impeachment submitting a petition of over 70 signatures to the vice president venkai naidu who is the chairman of the rajya sabha in parliament sources also indicating that the vice president will now examine the motion and seek legal opinion the congress today said in a press conference that it had listed five grounds for misbehavior and that seven parties had backed the motion. Sources also saying that the opposition is divided uh, on this. Parties like the Trinamool Congress, the DMK uh, did not sign up for this impeachment proceeding. There are also strong opinions on both sides even within the Congress. So we have moved a motion for impeachment for the removal of Chief Justice of India under five listed grounds of misbehavior. So we have submitted a motion signed by 71 members of the parliament that there are seven signatures of honorable members are meanwhile retired. So we have said in my in the letter that those seven members should not be counted out of the seventy one members. When the judges of the Supreme Court themselves believe that the judiciary's independence is under threat and democracy in peril, alluding to the functioning of the office of the Chief Justice of India should the nation stand still and do nothing. So that was the Congress obviously giving their defense for moving that impeachment proceeding. Sunil Prabhu is joining us on the phone line for more on this. Sunil, uh, what are the options available uh, to the Vice President uh, for on this? Well, the Vice President will now examine this motion. Uh, he will first uh, cross-check and verify the signatures of the members of parliament who have signed. Subsequently, he will seek a legal opinion uh, to see whether this motion is in order. And uh, then, uh, if he does accept the decision, uh, the, uh, a committee will have to be constituted of a sitting Supreme Court judge, uh, the uh, Chief Justice of a uh, High Court, as well as an eminent jurist, uh, to look at those five charges uh, that have been leveled by the opposition I mean, not really the opposition, but by these members of parliament uh, who believe uh, that there is a case for impeachment against the Chief Justice of India. Uh, that, of course, will be a process uh, which will have to be checked and cross-checked. And after determining that, uh, and if they find that these charges are tenable, uh, an impeachment motion will have to be placed uh, before both houses of parliament. Right, Sunil. And also the other question, of course, from that... The press conference that uh, the Congress had was how many Congress leaders were actually on board. The fact that uh, you know Kapil Sibyl also said that Manmohan Singh was somebody we didn't want to involve, and other senior leaders were not on board as well. Well, I think uh, when you see a press conference of this kind, it's a decision of the party. Uh, the fact uh, that he made it clear that this is not a political decision. Those the members of parliament who signed signed in the independent capacity. Uh, some members of parliament, uh, like uh, Mr. Singhvi, like Dr. Manmohan Singh, like, like Mr. P. Chidambaram, who you have mentioned, uh, because of various reasons, uh, have uh, decided to stay away and not uh, sign that motion, uh, uh, impeachment motion. Uh, and it's in that backdrop that, that I think uh, uh, most political parties, the seven political parties who signed, all of them went ahead uh, with that decision. Of course, as you rightly point out, uh, whether it is... Uh, uh, you know, uh, a question of whether the party has supported it or not. Yes, uh, I think uh, uh, they are quite clear and quite categorical uh, that there are charges against uh, the Chief Justice of India, uh, which need to be uh, looked at in its entirety, uh, and only a committee uh, which is constituted under the Constitution, and that is, as they rightly said, an extremely sad moment for them, uh, but no other option was available for them apart from impeachment, uh, to look into these charges. Let's remember and let's put it in perspective. Who had raised these doubts? Four sitting Supreme Court judges, the senior most uh, who are a party with the Chief Justice of India. 
Uh, it pertains to the administration of justice. It pertains uh, to uh, um, an allegation against the Chief Justice of India that he uh, was a, a was uh, uh, trying to interfere with the judicial process. Uh, did not allow uh, the CBI to go ahead with uh, investigating Justice Shukla, who he later on sends a letter uh, to the uh, president uh, for uh, removal as a judge. And it's in that context that all these issues uh, need to be put in light. Uh, it's not something that has happened off, off late. Uh, it has been a consistent position, and uh, clearly the uh, opposition, in particular the 60, um, uh, 71 MPs who signed this motion, of course, seven uh, are no more uh, uh, members of parliament anymore, uh, and a letter has been given to the Rajya Sabha chairman in this regard. It's in that context that they have requested uh, that uh, uh, this matter to be looked in its entirety.